Hello everyone. Today we'll be bringing you a review of the Uniball Jetstream Sport retractable rollerball pen. This is a bold point, 1.0 millimeters. Uh, first off, as you can see here, I have two different pens sitting here. I actually purchased a pack of two for the Jetstream Sport. Um, one came black, one came red. And you'll notice they're actually slightly different design um, in terms of the uh, outside design of the pen and the clip, the barrel, the comfort grip, and even the refills. So we're going to take a look at both. Um, they're both Jetstream Sports, so they essentially write the same. But since they do have some uh, differences in the design, we're going to look at each one. Um, the only real differences between the two, the red pen is a little bit thicker, the barrel, uh, as compared to the black pen. You can see there. And the comfort grip a little bit. The design of it is a little different. It has uh, a little bit more of the, the red has a little bit more of the textures in here for gripping, while the black has a little less and has a much uh, narrower grip and a narrower barrel. The clips are also a little bit different, but that's basically just a design feature. They'll clip about the same, each pen. So, a few things about the pen real quick. Uh, the Jetstream features a unique ink system. Uh, it's designed to be both extremely smooth and quick drying, uh, waterproof and fade proof. Uniball claims that this ink dries nine times faster and reduces writing fric friction by 40% as compared to a standard ballpoint pen. The smooth feel this pen has is actually accomplished by a lubricating solvent in the ink that gives it a ultra low viscosity. The ink also utilizes their uh, Uni Super Ink technology, so it's sort of a hybrid ink. It has both the Jetstream ink with the features I just mentioned, and also the Uni Super Ink, which is used in many of their pens, uh, which is designed to become trapped in the paper, which helps prevent against check fraud and other document alteration. And also the fact that it does dry so quickly makes it an ideal choice for lefties, because obviously if you're writing left-handed, your hand is going over the ink that you're writing, so less chance of smearing. As I said, it has a uh, textured rubber comfort grip here. Textured on both of the barrel designs we have here, although on the black pen here it's a little bit more narrow, and a little bit less textures, but they're thicker, and on the red more textures, but they're thinner. Semi-translucent barrel here. Uh, it's more of an aesthetic design, I'd say. Um, as opposed to being functional. You can see the ink in there, so if it gets low you'd be able to tell, but it's not readily available like a window, so it's not something that would really stand out at you, but if you looked closely uh, you can tell that the ink would be getting low. The pen is refillable, um, and I found interesting here that when we took the refills out, which I'll show you right now, they actually weren't the same, so that's another uh, difference in the pen. Here's the refill for the red. and for the black. So not only do they look different on the outside, but they actually take different refills. Um, the red refill is the uh, Uniball SXR10, the black is the SXR8110. So um, they're both Jetstream refills, you can purchase both of them, they're just you know a different design and obviously one wouldn't fit in the other. So I found that a little interesting that in the same pack of pens they gave pens that were two different barrel designs and two different refills. But they're both advertised as both being Uniball Jetstream Sport pens. So, noteworthy, I'd say. Um, real quick comparison here between the original Jets, uh, Jetstream pen we reviewed and then the Jetstream Sports. As you can see, the main difference is the size. Um, uh, both of the Jetstream Sports, even though they're different designs, have a much smaller barrel as compared to the original Jetstream. And uh, it's made of kind of like more just uh, lighter, I'd say like a little bit cheaper plastic, whereas the original Jetstream is uh, almost the entire barrel of the pen is coated in a kind of a nonstick rubber grip here. Um, has the windows up front and a metal clip. So it's more of a personal preference which one you're going to choose. They all write the same. Um, some people don't like the more narrow barrel and the narrow grip of the Jetstream Sport and prefer the larger, uh, thicker barrel of the original Jetstream. 
So finally, let's see how it writes. Very smooth, effortless writing. Really just glides across the paper, which was to be expected with this pen, as this is one of the strong points that they advertise with it. Produces very consistent lines, essentially 100% skip free, completely blob free. And one thing I really liked about this is for a pen that's a bold point 1.0, uh, the lines actually come out very, very crisp and detailed, which I really like. It makes it look, um, just really makes it stand out on the paper and. Makes it makes it look very professional. Let's see how it performs with a smear test. One second. A little bit of smearing. Two. Three. Four. And five. We'll also try with the black ink. One second. Two. Three. So as you can see, um, under two or three seconds you get little to no smearing. Um, it's, it does come at times, it depends kind of how hard you press your finger against the paper um, and you know kind of if you you know press down harder or if maybe your hands were a little bit sweaty you'd get a little bit smearing here and there but uh, after three seconds you get essentially none. And even the smearing you do get from kind of from one to three seconds is negligible. So it's not terrible at all. Did some writing prior with both pens. We noticed more of the same. Wrote very smooth. Feels comfortable. Um, the biggest, I'd say, advantage of the pen is the, it, the pen really just glides across the paper with a really effortless feel. The lines come out. Uh, they're produced very kind of very crisp and well-defined. They're skip-free, blob-free. Smear test. We got more of the same. Um, one second was pretty much the most smearing for both uh, the red and black ink. Two to three, we got a little bit on each. After that, little to none. And the smearing we do get, like I said, it kind of will vary if you're pushing your finger down harder on the paper, or maybe your hands were a little bit sweaty. For the most part, uh, this ink doesn't really smear or smudge uh, much at all. So that's not really to take anything away from the pen by any means. So overall, the Jetstream Sport is a very, very good pen. I'm a big fan of the uh, Jetstream line from Uniball and you know, I'm 
obviously then I'm a fan of these pens as well. My biggest complaint with them, uh, and why I wouldn't really choose the Jetstream Sport over other Jetstream models, is they're not... Uh, the fact that the barrels are, so, barrels are so narrow on, you know, both of these different, slightly different models of the Jetstream Sport pens makes them a little bit less comfortable holding your hand as opposed to, say, the original Jetstream pen. Um, so while they do have all the great characteristics of the Jetstream ink and the Uni Super ink and, are, you know, are very smooth and um, smear-proof, essentially, uh, it... it they are a little bit too narrow in your hands, especially this one, the black one, which was more narrow. So it produced a little bit of strain in my hands over long term. Um, so if I had to choose for, between this and other Jetstream models, uh, the Jetstream Sport would not be my first choice. Honestly, it would probably there's a few other Jetstreams I still have to take a look at. But since this is pretty much the most narrow barrel barrel of them all, uh, this would pretty much be my last choice for a Jetstream. But if you just you know want uh, you know a little uh, if you prefer like a narrow pen and want something that's actually a little bit lighter, that's one thing I should mention, the fact that um, they are just made of the lighter plastic barrels and the little plastic clip. They do feel a little bit lighter in your hand, and which does um, help to kind of add to the feel of the you know effortless, um, smooth writing across the paper. So if you prefer that, then these would be a good choice. Otherwise, uh, the original Jetstream model or the, you know, the Jetstream Premier uh, might be a better choice for you, but either way, I would highly re recommend any of the Jetstream pens. Um, they feel great. They're almost 100% smudge-proof and blob and skip-free, and overall, they're just really great pens. So, that's about it. Thanks for watching.